Service dogs. Understanding their impact on military veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder. Post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, is a mental disorder that can develop after experiencing a traumatic event, such as being part of military combat. In the USA, almost one in four of the almost three million military personnel deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan following the 9-11 attack return with symptoms of PTSD. Like many mental disorders, there is no cure for PTSD. While several treatments for PTSD can be offered, unfortunately, they do not completely treat all veterans with PTSD. As such, complementary interventions are a popular addition for many military veterans. One of these complementary interventions for PTSD is the use of service dogs. Service dogs for PTSD are a form of psychiatric service dog, meaning that they are trained to assist their owners who have been diagnosed with a mental health condition rather than a physical health condition. Research has already shown that PTSD service dogs can help reduce the clinical symptoms of PTSD and also help improve the quality of life among some military veterans. Dr. Maggie O'Hare and Dr. Kerry Rodriguez at Purdue University in the USA and their colleagues are working to better understand why and how PTSD service dogs may improve PTSD symptoms among military veterans. To find this out, the researchers studied 134 post-9-11 military veterans with PTSD that had received a PTSD service dog from a non-profit service dog provider in the USA called Canines for Warriors. All veterans had received their service dog at least one month before the start of the study. Veterans completed online questionnaires about their relationship with their PTSD service dogs. Specifically, they were asked to rate how important they thought their service dog's behaviors were for treating their PTSD symptoms. The researchers were particularly interested in quantifying how important veterans rated their service dog's trained behaviors, such as calming the veteran when they're experiencing anxiety, and untrained behaviors, such as providing a sense of routine and companionship. Veterans were also asked how often they currently use the service dog's trained behaviors in a typical day to get an idea of what trained tasks are most helpful for veterans with PTSD. Results showed that military veterans viewed their service dog's calming and interrupting behaviors when experiencing anxiety as the most important task for veterans' PTSD. The most frequently used task in a typical day and the tasks that help the most number of specific PTSD symptoms. In addition, all of the service dog's trained tasks were used daily, on average, three times per day, were rated as at least moderately important for the veteran's PTSD and helped almost all veterans' individual PTSD symptoms. Beyond the training, the dog's untrained behaviors, such as providing companionship and love, were also rated as highly important for all of their PTSD symptoms. In further analysis of the data, the researchers found that veterans who reported a stronger bond to their service dog rated their service dog's tasks as more important for their PTSD and reported using the service dog's trained tasks more frequently. Researchers also found that veterans who have had their service dogs for longer reported using the service dog's trained tasks less often in a typical day than veterans who have had their service dogs for shorter periods. This suggests that reliance on a PTSD service dog may decrease over time as the veteran's PTSD symptoms are improved. This important study provides much needed insight into how service dogs can help military veterans with PTSD. By better understanding what works and why, this research will help inform mental health providers, dog trainers, and policymakers in understanding the role and value of PTSD service dogs for military veterans. This video is based on the paper, Defining the PTSD Service Dog Intervention, Perceived Importance, Usage, and Symptom Specificity of Psychiatric Service Dogs for Military Veterans, published in the Open Access Journal, Frontiers in Psychology, DOI, HTTPS, semicolon, forward slash, forward slash, doi.org, forward slash, one zero, dot, three, three, eight, nine, forward slash fpsyg.2020.0001.